Yo, 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 yo. What the fuck am I, Charlemagne the God? <laughs> it's your boy Carvin. Um, I guess this is just a an almost follow up to the last video. I mean, it was just a few hours ago that I recorded it and did all that and uploaded it. And uh, here we are again. I've had a nice lunch. It's still a beautiful fucking day outside. It's a it's a nice warm like negative five. Like it couldn't be much nicer of a day. I could go for a fucking run if I wanted. Yet again, here we are. Uh, a set of Corsa. A set of Corsa. Uh, no Hezzy servers this time. Last video was the Push and P servers, the uh, JDM servers. And I mean, those are cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but this is the no Hezzy servers, the ones that I like best. This is where, you know, you got to try to shoot for shoot for the highest points. And there's like 60,000 people or something, you know, or 600,000 people. In the, in the no Hesse like server, I mean, they are just coming in every second, like just people. And the fact that I got this right before the end of the year to get certified, I had to get 4 million points uh, in order to be certified in the no Hesse servers. And I was able to get uh, 4.5, like last day of the year, December 31st. Like it, it was nuts. So now we are practicing right now, I guess a little bit, or maybe just doing a little warm, or, you know, a little run through, a little warm up on a. Uh, the point system soon there's going to be another combo here uh for when you're like cruising with friends or other people so the closer somebody is to you the more of a multiplier they'll be to help encourage like good driving um and driving with other people right now some people really just try to avoid others by going to places like down here the uh three lane southbound and they just start here right but that's you know it's not it's not the most like social environment for driving at that point because you're driving on the other side of the map you know basically the pit stop where we were is all the way up this interstate that we're going to go on but on the other side which is miles away and this is a you know a good uh indication that somebody knows what they're doing on these servers or trying to go for a high score when they start from like this side or someplace else other than here the pits right so today i'm here in the uh the maxima you know uh, I guess most people are like, why? Well, if you think like, if, you know, throw back to the video from just a few hours ago, uh, the green Mitsubishi Eclipse, you know, Brian's Eclipse from the first Fast and Furious. This was a car in the first movie driven by, um, fuck, I forget his name, but he had the blue Maxima, right? And that thing was pretty sick. It was front wheel drive. This thing, manual transmission. Gotta love it. I love myself a manual transmission in this game. Especially when I first started playing the game, I was only using the paddle shifters, but now that I'm using the, uh, you know, the actual shifter, it's a lot more fun. And then I got the handbrake as well, because before I was using the clutch down here as my, like, my handbrake, or my emergency brake, or whatever you want to call it. And so basically it was my foot brake. <laughs> and, you know, if I wanted to use the manual transmission, well, I needed a clutch. Now you could play clutchless have an automatic clutch in the game but i don't want to you know i want to i want to use the clutch you know over here is the clutch indicator so you know i'm actually using it and then you know again the brake the gas and uh force feedback and then those who don't know force feedback you can look it up it's basically like the reaction of your steering wheel on the environment of the game like hitting other cars uh losing traction uh hitting curbs bumps in the road stuff like that you know Ugh. So I actually am going to uh, start on the three lane southbound only because uh, this car is a little bit quieter than uh, than most cars. So like other people's cars can be a hell of a lot louder than this car is, which is a uh, kind of insane. But I don't want their cars to blare out the recording, and it, it, it's nuts. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little a uh, little practice for the for uh, you know trying to get over four, maybe five million. I doubt I'm going to get anywhere near there. It requires some serious focus, like absolute, like 20, 30 minutes of just absolute concentration. Now you can lower the time down by going much faster and cutting much closer to the traffic, right? And then soon, like I said, they're going to get the multiplier by driving with friends. But this isn't the best car to try to get a high score in. It is a great car. I want to drive it. It's a, a six speed, a 2JZ A32 Maxima. So. Let's give her a little, a little go around. 
Like I said, not much, uh... Probably not the best handling for something for a high score run. The Porsche was available, but I didn't want it. But, uh, this should this should be more than fine. It is definitely quieter outside the car than inside the car, maybe. Definitely got more of a a sleeper vibe to it. You know, it is a manual, but it doesn't have the animation to uh, shift. But I can't use the paddle shift, so it's definitely, you know, an H pattern shifter, unless I'm using like an automatic clutch, which at that point I might as well just be playing automatic, and that's no fun. With certain cars, you can get into a rhythm where you only need to go between maybe two or three gears. Most are just two gears, but sometimes you really got to use the engine brake because you don't want to lose uh, control of the car by braking too hard, which. This car does have an, an adjustable turbo, so I can, you know, I can give it more or less boost. But I'm gonna keep it at 100% boost because I like the, uh, this thing doesn't have the greatest reaction time when it comes to being on the gas. So I'm gonna leave it at 100 and I can turn traction control off or leave it on. I think I'm gonna leave it on for now, just see how the car, you know, vibes with me. I mean, the game looks easy. It's definitely not. Anyone can cut through traffic. It's hard to do it fast. I can tell you, it's just as hard to commentate and do this as it is to just drive, right? Because I could easily go 20, 30 minutes without saying a word. Let the music just vibe. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay, we're in a practice. We're trying to practice is cutting closer to the cars, right? Like, so as you can see, there's multipliers for when I go past a car right up here on the top left. And right there, if I'm too far away, it's just a one times. But if I pass them close enough, it'll say like, you know, 3.2 times. You know, you keep that up along with the speed and your points start to rack up. So you really gotta be strategic on like what ways you cut, how fast you're going. Uh, which side of the road you want to be on that can come closest to the most cars. If you find a lane, like right now, that does have a lot of cars in front of it, do I want to stay in it or do I want to try to cut over to other cars to try to get those multipliers, right? And some people that do this are, man, you know, they're getting billions of points. But the game itself, you know, it's not all easy, like these three lanes where for the most part, there's a place to, to cut without having to worry about crashing. You come up on toll booths, exits, you know, three lanes down to two lanes, which can reduce your speed, which can absolutely kill your multiplier, or your multiplier by uh, dropping below like, what was it, like 95 kilometers an hour, which is like, I don't know, like 60, 65, maybe 70 mile per hour. I don't know, I try not to go that slow. Like right there, I think I would hit, right? But I'm not. Gotta let it fall like the follow what's called like the white line rule. Like try to stay on the white line. The best you oh sh ah see like right there. I miscalculated. Miscalculated. Was paying attention. Was paying attention. That's all it takes. A little bit a little bit of a screw up. Now imagine you're like 10, 15, 20 minutes in, you're millions of points in, right? And then one little bit of a slip up. Boom, you're done. All right, let's give this a another go. We'll go right back down using the uh, Comfy Maps app. Being able to just jump to a spawn point. And we'll start from here. Some views, I do like the uh, the rear view cam. Sometimes I like using the uh, this cam right here for immersion because I already have the steering wheel in my view because I have a steering wheel right but then it's nice to also have this steering wheel so you know for like recording you know if somebody doesn't want to see the camera of the steering wheel uh they can just look at the steering you know get at least the reaction from what i'm doing in the game for a little bit more immersion and then they have a camera that i can adjust i think just from this view only the first person 
where I can raise, I can adjust the camera where it's at, like a free camera basically, and I can raise it to just above the windshield with like the hood still in view. So that way I can get a little bit more of an idea of what's to come up on traffic because you know, you got trucks like this that block your entire view or SUVs when you get close enough. And sometimes you think that the lane is gonna be clear that you're cutting into, and next thing you know, it's not. So it's nice to have that that above view as if there was like a GoPro on the hood at the edge of the windshield, which is how I've been noticing more and more people have been using in the uh, the Discord for No Hesse. Now, coming up at the end of these bridges, and this is basically the first of two bridges from the three lane southbound, is that you want to have a good multiplier going. By the time you hit the end of the second bridge, there's like a checkered building on the left. And you want to have about a 300 multiplier by the time you get there. I don't know what that equates to in points. I just know it's good to be around like 300 multiplier by the time you get to that point. The car I got the four and a half million score on was like a BMW. I forgot exactly which one, but I noticed that a lot of people were using it to get like in the billions and hundreds of millions points, which is only a few of those people, not a lot, but that's what they were using. And some were on controller, some were on wheel. So I'm like, ooh, let me give it a try. But then you get used to each car. Each car has its own you know, driving style, handling, the way it reacts to everything, the way it's set up. Not all of them have an adjustable turbo. Not all of them you can use, you know, your shifter. You have to use the paddle shift. So this would be towards the end of the bridge I was talking about. You can't really see the building because it's dark out. I have a 200 multiplier. I'm not paying too much attention because uh, commentating and recording, not the easiest. I'm sure I'll get used to it. And also, our points right now don't count for anything. Because they're still coming up with the new scoring system. This is basically like a lull, a lull time, the month of January, for some practice. You know, some people jumping into other servers. They don't have the greatest handling of cars just to drive some cars that they love, but they know they won't, uh, you know, they're not wasting any time. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still like the clout vibe. You can, you could break a, a new high score. It won't count for the server, but it will count in like bragging rights, you know, cause you can like put it on YouTube, right? Like it's verified for the most part, like through video, but it's not verified, verified. Because if you do break high scores, you get, they got to see if it's verified or not. Somebody's had the highest score of like 1.1 billion for a while, and someone finally broke it at like 1.4 billion. But it took a while for them to certify it, you know? Because I guess there's ways to cheat. Which, if you're going out of your way to cheat on something that's community made, like you're a fucking douche. You really are. Like you're of no use to uh, this gaming community. Probably turn the brights off. I mean, they do help. The game seems to want to just start with my brights on, and that's probably something in the settings I just haven't found or remembered to try to change. But it can be annoying to forget about it, and then you start following somebody that's also cutting trap, and then... I know what it's like to have somebody whose brights are on that are right up your ass. Especially if you're driving, you know, a bright colored car. You know, you have the visual mods on, next thing you know... Shit's overexposed. Ooh, baby! I feel like I drive one-handed for this game for the most part, so I'm always just ready to change gears. And by keeping my hand on the gear, I basically always know which gear I'm in. 
which I do have the indicator, you know, right up there by my camera. Tell me which gear I'm in. Kind of like let, more to let you guys know which gear I'm in and what phase of the uh, revolutions I'm in. Sometimes I just want to brake. Sometimes I want an engine brake. I should never really have to go for the emergency brake, but I do have it. It's just hard to use. Each car is a little different. Some cars want to sl start sliding immediately when grabbing it. Some you got to like do a nice balance between your brake pedal and the handbrake. So oh shit. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, I lost it. I lost the multiplier. Wow. I was at 600,000. Now I got to start all over on the multiplier. It's like, it's cool. You get to keep your points. But once you lose that multiplier, that's basically losing a lot of time. What's been hard for me is when I get to the end of these three lanes, it cuts down to two lane. And then you kind of have to figure out where to go from there. Unless you know the map and all of the routes and the exits. We passed a few exits, I'm pretty sure. Because you want to be in the two lane for the least amount of time possible. And I was able to get the four and a half million points right at the end of the three lane. You know the servers are getting kind of outdated because they're working on everything for the new update is because all the cars still have the Christmas trees on them. <laughs> like everybody's coming from some sort of Christmas tree convention where everybody left with a Christmas tree. It's getting kind of dark without the brights. Turn those on real quick. Yeah, I got quiet, but I also got faster when I got quiet. Sometimes you just want to listen to the engine, you know? Woo! You're getting some speed. Especially if you compare it to the first video I uploaded with Brian's Eclipse. I was just cruising, just to talk. I just heard somebody else go flying by on the other side of the interstate. Ooh, that was close. That was close. See, I could have been way over. I could have been at like 2 million by now if I would have, I wouldn't have lost my multiplier. Sometimes I think I'm close enough, and then I look at the multiplier, and I see that I absolutely was not close enough. <laughs> oh, this is where it cuts down to... This is what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. But even still, if I were to keep going, this is those pits that you normally start at, right? And then it reduces down to two lane, which ain't too big of a problem. But if, ooh, like eventually like shit like that happens, right? And then the cars, there's not two options to choose from. There's only one really. And sometimes the cars ain't fast enough so for you to split in time. Like right there, right? I would have had to have braked right there. No other option or slow down. Ah.
Not a terrible car. I mean, there's a lot worse cars. And then there's drift cars. And some people are really good at just drifting in and out of traffic. They're able to get those angles in those tight areas. Crazy. They've been doing this for years, you know? I wish I would have known about it. Then again, I didn't have a racing sim or anything like that. And I wasn't really interested in those games at that point. But I was getting bored of uh, some other games. Like Forza. That I wanted to use my wheel on. Ah, oh, shit. It touched another car. Wait, is that a player behind me? No. <laughs> it had a Christmas tree on it. I'm like, wait. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the pits and then back over to here. All right, well, that was the A32 2JZ Nissan Maxima. Your, you know, your family saloon turned fucking sleeper. I wonder where we're going to drive next time. If you see if there's any cars you would love to see or, you know, that would get you onto the game, let me know. I'll see if there's a server with that car on it. But anyways, welcome to the new Carbon. Peace.